Hello, thank you for joining me. See, in this film I'd like to show you, uh, like, the last of what we're going to be doing here. I thought the previous film were kind of dumb, but I looked back at it and noticed that there's some loose ends here. Like, specifically, our roof, our ceiling is actually sticking out of the, <laughs> out of our project here. And, uh, let's go ahead and clean that up a little bit. But more importantly, let's see what we can do about, uh, raining these lights. Or copying them and, um, you know, kind of filling out this row that we have in regard to the ceiling that we put in. So remember, you put these lights in regard to the teeny weeny little ceiling that we have over here. Let's go ahead and get these lined up with some really good dimensions. And let's go ahead and copy and array these over and make that uh, work out a little bit better for what we need. So we're going to click on our lighting fixture. And of course, this gives us uh, some temporary dimensions. Let's go ahead and take uh, one of these and uh, dimension that correctly. It says it's at 10 feet. But what we really want to do is we want to make sure that's a 10 feet at, at a, um, on a on a specific wall. So let's go ahead and move it to this wall, actually. So remember, with our tab key, we're going to take the end of that dimension and move it over here. And it looks like it's already aligned there, so maybe I just did that. If you didn't have that, I mean, just for demonstration, if you click on that fixture, and we want to make that something different, yeah, that's right, it is uh, 9 feet, 11 and 3 quarter inches. So, because of our precision we have set in our units in regard to Revit architecture, it's actually showing at 10 feet. So let's actually make that really, a real 10 feet. Or maybe, uh, for dramatic purposes, let's make that 9. So the way you do things like this is you tip, uh, click on an object like this first, I'll line that up and then go to the next one in the order and uh, line up those because sometimes these come with uh, double dimensions, not dual dimensions, but double dimensions. And if you try to change one dimension when you have two dimensions showing on the same object, the other one changes, it kind of goes back and forth. So what you do is you move from object to object and go in consecutive order the dimensions you want to change. That's probably a better way of doing it. So let's go ahead and take this dimension, let's make that uh, permanent too. And uh, click on that value. Oop. Let's click on that value for that dimension and make that, um, yep, come on, help me out here. Let's uh, make the, the value of that dimension, okay, let's delete that. Let's go back to our temporary dimension and we can change that. We're going to make that 5 feet. And now let's make that a permanent dimension. You know, we, unless we have a lighting fixture uh, plan here, we probably don't want to have these here. But this is a lighting fixture plan, so you might want to have dimensions like this in order to identify it. Uh, this dimension here, let's, uh, now that we have these lined up and we did that in our section view, let's go ahead and move this dimension to maybe the front wall. And instead of choosing the current wall, we're going to choose that wall, and while that's still blue, Let's go ahead and make that seven feet, 17 feet 6 inches. So 17 space 6 should do that. The other fixture moves with it. And now we're in pretty good shape. We have all the dimensions we need. Let's go ahead and copy this. So just to demonstrate this, what we really want to do is use the array command. But uh, it's not going to let us do that, I don't think. But if you just copy it, and just move it out over here, it gives us this error. It says can't place inserts outside of hosts. And it will not copy. So. Once you uh, take the host, once you put fixtures into a host, and then take the host and make it look really small like we did with the ceiling, it's okay with that. But if you try to move or copy these fixtures using the same host, but the host isn't there anymore, and it's not going to like that. So I hope that doesn't cause problems in the future, but let's go ahead and do this. Let's edit our boundary. Let's just make it big enough so we can... Um, oops. Let's make it big enough so we can uh, actually put some hosted uh, elements on there. So move that out, move this up, move that down, move that over all the way to the, our exterior wall. We're not going to uh, put in, or close to our exterior wall. We're not going to put any constraints in there. Go to the green check mark, and now instead of copying it, we're going to need to use something similar, which is going to be the array command. So we're going to click on that fixture, go to array, and we're going to take that fixture and move it out, copy it out. And we're just going to set an arbitrary distance, and let's give it maybe four fixtures total. Now if we tab, or actually go to, uh, yeah, okay, my, my mistake. But anyways, we put in four fixtures, so this number in here gives us the ability to change that value. You can go to four to five, and so on and so forth. But what we don't have is a dimension in there, so if we were to click on that fixture, and try to get dimensions in there, it doesn't show us those temporary dimensions, until we go up here to our options bar and go to activate dimensions. Click on that guy. Now we do have that dimension. So let's go ahead and modify these dimensions a little bit. Let's put that dimension over here to that light and 
bit the spacing between the lights at what? I think we had them at five feet. So now the spacing between all the lights are going to be at five feet. He's supposed to have five, but it looks like we're only going to be able to get four total. One, two, three, four. So let's change that back to four instead of five, because one's going to run into the wall. And that's in pretty good shape. So just click anywhere. And we're good there. Let's go ahead and shrink our wall down. Almost done here. Let's shrink it down to the, the place and the size that we had it before. And I think we should be in pretty good shape if we do that. Ugh. Sometimes it's hard to see this stuff. Unless you get really close. It may not allow you to do it. So green check mark. Alright, good. So far so good. Our fixture is in the right place. Let's go ahead and change our wall. I just change it, but let's move it into the proper location. This uh, grip that we have over here, the stretch grip, let's make sure that we stretch it to the inside of the exterior wall, like we did there. And make sure it's the same way on this side. We don't want it sticking out of that wall. We want to make sure that it's just on the inside of the exterior wall. Okay, so that takes care of our ceiling. We have fixtures in the right locations with dimensions on them, spread out five in a row. Looks like we're in pretty good shape. Let's go to our 3D view and take a look at that from the outside and see if that looks good. And if so, then I think we're done. Yep, you can just see them in there. Kind of suspended off the ceiling. That looks pretty good. And just right here you can see a little bit of our ceiling just sticking through. Okay, thank you for joining me. See me in other films.